citrus, white jasmine, Brazilian heliotrope. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my April BoxyCharm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box and I've tried out all but one product in here. So I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews on these products and just give you my overall thoughts and impressions on this month's box. So let's jump into it. So I'm very excited that they brought back the little card this month so you don't have to go online to look up the information. So I like the little card, so I'm glad that it's back in the box this month. So this month's theme says cloudy with a chance of charms. Let us be your umbrella on a rainy day because that's for sure it's that rainy time of year, at least in Texas. So the first thing in my box that I actually have not tried yet, and I probably won't try it just because I want to be able to pass it on to a friend unused, um, is the Blink Black Lash Primer, and it says Jet Black Volume. I don't know, I may like the primer, but I really don't like their mascaras, so I just hate to waste it um, in case I don't like this too. So I don't know, let me know. If you like this and I should try it, let me know. But let me read it to you, like what it's about. It is $26 and it says, this lash primer builds volume and will have your mascara looking the blackest of blacks. The innovative silicone wand separates and lengthens while the Blink Black Lash Primer coats lashes. That is so hard for me to say. It says, apply as many coats as desired within 60 seconds to achieve a foundation of fuller, thicker lashes. When mascara is immediately applied over top, a jet black voluminous finish remains. Remove with any eye makeup remover, with any makeup remover. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this, but I just really don't like the mascara. So I kind of wonder if the primer would be the same situation. Next, I got a hand cream. This is the Anderson Lily Beach Butter Hand Cream, and this is in Manhattan Beach. Let me see what it says about this. It says, let your skin indulge in a luxurious and soothing blend of bergamot, citrus, white jasmine, Brazilian heliotrope. I don't know, heliotrope, okay, and musk. It says apply to hands or dry patches on body as often as needed to hydrate and nourish your skin. And this is a full size and it's a value of $24. So it is a pricier hand cream, but I use this and I like it. Like it's very, it's a thick cream. Like it is a thick hand cream, um, but it has a really nice texture to it. It blends into the skin really nicely very hydrating without being um, sticky or oily or gross feeling. So I really like the texture of it. As far as the scent, it smells so much like the old school Bath and Body Works. Was it, I was trying to remember the name of it. I think it's Flowering Herbs. Was it Flowering Herbs? If you're an old school Bath and Body Works fan, like from when it first kind of became popular as a brand, Tell me if you remember Flowering Herbs. I think that's the name of it. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of. I do like the scent of it. It's kind of more of like a, a very fresh, a very fresh scent with a little bit of citrus, a little bit floral. It's, it's Flowering Herbs. <laughs> I got a lip product from Purely Say. This is the Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. It's a full size and it's a value of $16. And it says this advanced lip nourisher is enriched with mango and shea butters, jojoba and rice bran oils and vitamin E that richly hydrates and seals in moisture. This exclusive petroleum free balm heals dry and cracked lips, leaving them lush, soft, moist, and youthful looking. Apply liberally whenever your lips need a little TLC. Wait for moisture to seal in. Use under lipstick or gloss for a smoother makeup application. So I've tried this multiple times. I've been keeping this kind of on my vanity and using it in the mornings, like before, like kind of as I'm doing the rest of my makeup before lip products. And I really like it. It's kind of one of those type of a deal. Um, and yeah, it's just, I mean, you're not gonna be able to see it cause it's, it's a lip product, but very hydrating. Like, I mean, you can even kind of see the like sheen to it. I mean, it's definitely got those natural oils in there, but it's very hydrating on the lips. I really, really liked how this felt. You see what it says, hydrates and nourishes, heals and softens petroleum free, all skin types. So yeah, I really do like this. I think it's a nice lip product. Then I got an eyeshadow from Your Minerals Sweden and I got the color Brown Hypnotic and it is a full size and it's a value of $21. 
It says, create your glamorous look with your minerals eyeshadow. It is a 100%, it is 100% made of minerals and works perfect as a standalone eyeshadow or blend it together with other eyeshadows to create a more voluptuous effect. Okay. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it just kind of talks about like how you apply it. You basically apply it like a pigment because it's a pigment sort of a shadow. But this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love this. I absolutely love this. It's like a taupey color, but then it's got some little like micro shimmer in it. Oh my gosh, like almost like coppery micro shimmer. It is beautiful. So it's like a taupey pigment with just something fun and extra going on with it. Yes, I absolutely love this. So pretty. And then lastly, I got an Ofra liquid lipstick, which you guys know, I love these. I do have a picture on my Instagram of me wearing this if you wanna see this actually on me. But this is in the color Honolulu. And let me see what it says about it. It's a full size and it's a value of 1990. It says, these are a one-step full lip color that does not feather. It is creamy and soft in texture, moisturizing the lips and creating a long-lasting lipstick effect. Contains antioxidants and vitamin E. So, one thing I do notice about it is that the um, lid on this one is like skinnier than the other one. So, I don't know why, but it's a little bit different. But I love these. They pretty much are my favorite liquid lipstick formula. At a minimum, they're in the top three. I think they are so comfortable. And Honolulu is like, what? Such a pretty, like almost brownie burgundy color. And it has this like metallic sheen to it. It is gorgeous. So pretty. It's a vampy color. And typically I would wear this more in the fall and winter, but I wore it the other day with my Sweet Peach palette. And I think it totally worked. And I think it's gorgeous. I love the formula. And I think this is a total win that this was in the box. Okay, so I just added up the value of my box and it was $106.90. So another total win. I really enjoyed this box. Of course, my two favorite products are the Color Cosmetics. So the eyeshadow and the lipstick. Those are probably always gonna be my favorites because I'm just a Color Cosmetics girl. But I do really like the lip product too and a hand cream's always nice. So. I think it was another win. So I really enjoyed this box. If you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I'll leave the link down below, which is BoxyCharm.com. But I would love to know what you got in your box. What was your favorite thing that you got? If you have any questions for me about any of these products, just ask those. I can answer those down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!